Hello there guys, today we are going to take a look at how to change the oil on a C109RT Boulevard. It's a Suzuki uh, motorcycle, 1800cc. Um, very easy process, just have to take care of a few steps. I'll take you through it. Uh, it's so the first time I'll be doing it. Uh, thought I might as well record it. So let me flip over the camera to the other side and let's take a look how to do it. Right guys, the first step in the process is if the bike is cold, you need to warm it up um, and it needs to be stood on the uh, side stand, which it is uh, right now. Um, I'm going to crank it up uh, and I'll leave it running. Um, for uh, for uh, checking the oil, they recommend uh, running it for 15 minutes. I'm going to do that and then cool it down for another three minutes uh, before proceeding to drain out uh, the oil. So I'll let run for uh, 15 minutes and then uh, we pull it down for another three and then we can uh, loosen the uh, drain plugs and remove the oil and change the filter. Alright guys, the bike has been running for about uh, 15 minutes now, it's still on its side stand. Uh, I will let it cool for uh, three uh, minutes before attempting to uh, open the drain plugs and uh, the filter. Uh, but before we do that, uh, let me show here where, and I'm, I'm, I'm located on, uh, on the right side of the motorcycle, uh, right in the sense where uh, the uh, brake is. Uh, so if you go down from here, underneath, uh, there you will see that is your filter. And if you keep going backward, and this can be accessed from the other side too, but I find uh, there is a little more space over here. So there you see there is a 17 mil uh, drain plug, and there is another one just at the back, probably uh, 8 to 10 inches backward, uh, where my finger is pointed at right now. Let me see if I can zoom in there. There you see that. So uh, we are going to uh, let those loose and then uh, let the oil come out. Uh, once that is done, uh, I'm going to stand the bike up uh, so that uh, if there's anything remaining, that comes out too. Uh, and then we'll fit the plugs again, remove the filter, uh, put the filter back, the new one of course, and then uh, we will uh, put oil into it. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and used uh, 17 mil uh, sockets to loosen up uh, these drain plugs or drain bolts, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so I'm going to slide this underneath here, the drain pan. Uh, be careful, the surface is bit, uh, uh, very hot. So uh, I'm going to open this with my uh, hand, slowly. And you should see oil starting to come out. There you go. Now once this is done, we'll open up uh, the rear and uh, do the same. Salt really loosened up, guys. Uh, you might need to uh, loosen this up before uh, you attempt to unscrew it. But of course, there you see a bigger uh, drain flow from the rear. Um, I guess this may have two chambers. Uh, That's the reason why they have uh, provided um, uh, two drain plugs. Uh, one probably houses the uh, gear set and uh, the other lubricates the engine and stuff like that. Uh, but you can see uh, both the holes are uh, draining oil right now. Uh, we will let them drain before I will uh, stand the bike up uh, straight so that uh, more oil can come out. And uh, the oil has almost drained out of the two uh, drain plugs. Uh, what I've done is, uh, in an attempt to uh, stand the bike straight up, 
I've used uh, two by six pieces, uh, two of those, and the bike is almost straight. Uh, and uh, I can see a little bit more uh, oil that is uh, dripping out of the uh, crane plugs here. Yeah? Uh, now, uh, here, let me show you this. Uh, these drain plugs, as you see, uh, if they are, uh, if the oil is not changed for some time, uh, you may have some uh, shavings and metal uh, build up there. So be sure you clean those uh, before you uh, uh, put those back in, yeah? Uh, before we add uh, the oil and replace uh, the filter, I uh, just wanted to make a comment on uh, the engine oil. Uh, this one is a 10W40 uh, and it has a GASO uh, MA uh, specification here as you can see. Uh, that is what is recommended by Suzuki. Uh, there are other engine uh, oil grades that you can possibly use but uh, be sure to check uh, the manual or check with your dealer. Um, I obtained this at uh, the Canadian Tire Store and uh, there you can see this filter. Uh, again I bought it at Canadian Tire. It's a PH6018 uh, Fram um, and again uh, you may get different filters uh, but be sure they are compatible with your motorcycle uh, so before i put these uh, drain plugs back again uh, to note that these have uh, crush washers as you can see here uh, you can replace them uh, they can be obtained uh, at your uh, dealer uh, check these uh, so I, we can go back now and uh, put the drain plugs back again I do not know the torque specifications on these, so I'm gonna hand tighten uh, uh, hand tighten these. Uh, but uh, you might be better off uh, uh, knowing the specifications and then tightening them uh, using a torque wrench. Okay, that is the first one, it happens to be the one at the front, and and the second one goes back in the same way. So hand tighten these, so first one is here, second one is here, I'm going to tighten them a little bit with a wrench. Uh, to make sure when you have removed the filter, there is a, a, an O-ring, uh, which is a rubber ring on the filter, make sure it has come off the older filter, uh, otherwise uh, you're probably going to look at some oil leakage uh, and uh, you don't want that, right? Uh, so for me, it uh, just came off. I uh, don't need to worry about it. Uh, and uh, the other thing uh, is your uh, your uh, new filter, which uh, what you could do is uh, put some oil on uh, the lip here, which is uh, the same uh, uh, O-ring rubber. Uh, that will help it uh, seal in uh, uh, nicely. Uh, and when you're opening it, uh, whenever you have to open it, uh, for the next oil change, it'll make it uh, that much easier. Um, um, and you could also prep up uh, the filter by uh, filling it up a little bit with uh, the oil. And the same way we, uh, the same way we took out uh, the oil filter, I'm putting in the new one. Uh, just screw it in. This one seemed to be a very long thread, uh, so it took some time to take it out. And then you hand tighten it, give it like a one quarter turn once it is tight, uh, and you should be all set. Uh, the next part of our journey is uh, to fill the oil. So you see this uh, blue funnel here, it's a long one. Um, now that has, this is on the left side of the motorcycle by the way, uh, which is on the clutch side. It has this uh, stick, right, the measuring stick or fill stick 
what you want to call it, you need to remove it first and then put your funnel, uh, choice is yours, what funnel you want to use. And then I'm going to add close to uh, 3400, that's what it says here, uh, ml of uh, uh, engine oil, that's the 10W40. And uh, once that is done, I'm going to measure uh, the oil level. If needed, I'll top it up again. Uh, it can go, I believe, as per the manual, up to 3600 ml. I'll uh, take a shot of uh, me putting some oil uh, into the filler uh, cap because uh, otherwise it isn't fun, hey? So uh, there uh, you can see the oil is going in. This is the second uh, bottle, by the way. Each bottle is uh, 946 ml uh, so i'm probably going to be doing a little over uh, three bottles of this uh, to be reaching uh, 3400 uh, ml uh, so again like I'll, I'll do a quick math here and then uh, the top up and stuff like that measuring it uh, we will do it right after this the way you measure the oil is a little different in this because uh, i guess it's what they call the uh, semi dry pump or oh, sorry the semi uh, dry sump uh, and uh, what you need to do is uh, you again the same way you drain it out you turn it on for 15 minutes let it get heated up and then let it uh, cool down again for about uh, three minutes after that uh, you're gonna stand your bike upright right stand your bike upright and remove this uh, fill stick and uh, clean it dip it again do not screw it in just keep it on the filler position without screwing it in and check the oil right so you see this bottom mark over here right there uh, and sorry so I'm getting out of focus uh, yeah so the crimp at the bottom that the oil should be about that and you are good Right guys, so uh, now what I did is uh, I turned on the engine and uh, uh, let it run for 15 minutes before letting it cool down again for 3 minutes. So this is my dipstick. The bike is stood up right now and this is what you got to do. Just dip it in like so. Do not screw it in, mind you. I'm going to remove it and check the oil level you can see there it is right above the bottom mark so we are good here i'm not going to top it up uh, and uh, this should do it if you do not follow this procedure and you end up putting more oil then it will end up coming out of the air filter uh, that is a big mess again so it's better you do it right the first time Awesome guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Take care and ride safe.